What's up everybody, welcome to another video. Today we're gonna to talk about Metallica and I will show you the favorite tricks of the one and only Cliff Burton. Cliff is probably the most iconic bass player in metal music and he needs no introduction. He had a lot to do with the raw energy of the early Metallica. With Justice For All, the first record after his death, Metallica started to become something else. More polished, still awesome, but not as fierce. And even though they would go on and become the most famous metal band of all time, the songs of the Cliff Burton era are considered the cornerstone of Metallica's longevity and they are still performed at every show today. Now let's talk about style. To be honest, Cliff followed the guitars most of the time, but when he came out, he came out big time, with a unique blend of heavy metal sound, punk attitude and a classical music composition approach. His technique could be considered similar to the one used by Geezer Butler of Black Sabbath, one of his main inspirations, a very fast plucking using mainly two fingers, sometimes even only one. The tone is a weird cross between Jacob Pastorius and a Geezer Butler on steroids, and from the second album, Ride the Lightning, it became really distorted, adding also Lemmy to the mix. Coming next, a few tips you should try if you want to add some early Metallica DNA to your playing. Tip number one, implement classical music elements into your playing. Burton loved classical music and especially Johann Sebastian Bach and he applied some classical composition elements to the music of Metallica. Anesthesia is a good example. The first part of the piece is constructed primarily of triads. The song famously begins with a minor triad arpeggio, clearly inspired by classical music. On other songs, Cliff acts like a third guitar, creating a great support for the guitar harmonies. He also created harmonizations on his own, like the intro of Damage Inc, where a distorted bass with volume swells turns almost into a string section. Another classical element that we occasionally find in the music of Metallica is the use of contrary motion, which is basically the movement of two independent melodic lines in opposite directions. Brutally put, the bass goes up and the guitar goes down. Number 2. Heavy metal gallop under 16th notes riffs. A gallop is a rhythm typically used in traditional heavy metal songs. It is created by playing an 8th note followed by two 16th notes. To put it simple, it's a typical Steve Harris rhythm. In Metallica's music, the fastest songs normally feature guitar riffs made of 16th notes. It is pretty much impossible to keep up playing with the fingers at that speed, so Cliff resolved to play a gallop, or his personal version of it, under most of these parts. As a result, the whole thing is not too precise and sounds wilder compared to the modern metal standards. By the way, I had a great time listening to the first three Metallica records beginning to end. I hadn't done so in at least 10 years, so thank you for suggesting this video. Number 3. Harmonize the guitar riffs. As we know, Cliff liked to harmonize some lead guitar parts, but it's pretty cool to hear the same thing applied to the regular riffs. My favorite example is No Remorse. The whole verse is harmonized between the main riff and the bass playing a sixth below, while keeping the same pedal tone as the guitars.
Number four, slide upward before landing on road. This is a little funny move that happens pretty often on many Metallica songs. Cliff plays a very quick upward slide, starting around the third fret before resolving on root, always on the open string. I think this was intentional. It was probably something that just came out naturally, but I think it's a cool little detail. And within the song, it almost sounds like a sound effect. Number 5. Go buy a wah pedal. Besides Geezer Butler, Cliff was probably the first bass player in rock music to popularize the use of a wah pedal, which is generally used on guitar. His masterpiece Anesthesia is a prime example, but he did use it sporadically also on other songs of the first two Metallica records. I'm gonna share a quote that for me sums it up pretty well. Burton excels as a bass player in the traditional sense. He is the adhesive that keeps the band together by simultaneously smoothing out rhythmic inconsistencies, supporting the song harmonically and mimicking or adding inflection to the guitar riffs. His playing is controlled, intentional and technically demanding. He provides the necessary low-end support that any reputable instrumentalist would. Yet, he also managed to set a new standard for what is acceptable and expected of the bass player in the genre of metal. And this is all I have to say about this exceptional soloist and composer. Cliff paved the way for all of us and showed the world that also metal bass players can have their own voice instead of always standing in the background and inspired a new generation of players to really explore the sonic potential of the bass guitar. He popularized the use of the bass as a solo instrument using techniques often reserved for electric guitar like bends, hammer-ons and tapping and married classical harmonic development with testosterone-driven energy and punk rock attitude. And although the internet is full of videos and articles about this extraordinary metal god, I wanted to give you my own personal take. Thank you very much for watching, don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Instagram.